Once you have your color sequence set up for your applique design, it's fairly easy to sew. Uh, I have just a scrap of material in here. I have the design set up in my software, so it's locator stitch, applique command, tack down, applique command again, that's just for me. I like to double check things, and then cover stitch. So I'm just going to trace the design, the hoop and the trace key, just make sure everything fits. I've got all my other sew settings set up, my active feed, my speed, all of that. I'm ready to go. So I'm just going to press the green button. With the applique command, the machine fed the frame out uh, as far as it could go with the needle still within the hoop limit, but that gives me lots of room to lay this material, this applique material down. Now for my applique material, you can use lots of things. I happen to be using a poly twill. It has a uh, heat sensitive adhesive on the back of it, so it can be an iron on after it's done to make sure it's really, really secure. But on top of that, it also has a pressure sensitive adhesive. Um, so it's peel and stick, which is kind of nice. Now with all that adhesive, I am running uh, titanium coated needles. That just makes my life a lot easier. It doesn't have the adhesive stick nearly as badly. Um, I had this cut on the Roland. So all this is, is the app, the locator stitch was essentially sent to the cutter and it cut exactly where that is. So everything should line up perfectly. So now I'm going to lay that down, just lining it up as best I can. The nice thing about using that locator stitch with that cutter is that everything lines up perfectly. So I'm just going to slide that into place, give it a slight rub just to make sure that pressure sensitive adhesive is holding it well. And then I'm going to press the green button and it will sew the tack down stitch. Now that it's stopped for that second applique stop that I have in there, I just check and make sure everything's caught. It looks good. Yep, it looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the green button. It's gonna go back in and sew the rest of the design. Now that it's finished the cover stitch, my applique design is done and I can remove it from the machine. Now I just did this on a swatch. Um, you could do this on pretty much any garment. It's kind of fantastic. Um, Pre-cut applique versus cutting it on the fabric. So I pre-cut, I had the locator stitch, I gave it to the cutter, it cut it, that was great. Sometimes I don't have that option. Sometimes. Um, I need to either just sew the locator stitch on the applique material itself and then just cut that out. Um, other times, what you may do is lay the material down and sew that tack down around that and then pull that off, trim really close to that edge with a pair of applique scissors, which are kind of offset, um, and then uh, put it back on the machine and sew that cover stitch. Now, my problem with that is I occasionally will nick the garment, so I prefer to cut ahead of time. Um, but that's really all there is uh, to sewing applique.